32 spring. We already started on the rear. All you need to take out is this bolt right here. Bolt right there. And is about two fingers on the front. It's about two fingers. But yeah, I think it fits a lot better. It looks a lot cleaner. Yeah, I would totally recommend this. What's going on guys? Today we are doing a new install on the genuine parts. The garnishes, bro. We're just gonna replace the old one to the new one. Before, after. All right guys, today we're gonna install new time markers. So here we are, we got the clear ones, and we're gonna see how that looks. Take this out of the before, the after. Let me turn on the lights. Sheesh! What's going on guys? Today we are doing a new install. Installing VLAN headlight. Check that out, bro. That's sick as fuck. And that's sick, they're sequential, so they go whoop. Today we are installing new wheels, guys. They're Konek free floor. They are 18 by 8 and a half plus 35 offset. These on the car. We are installing these side skirts back on. I'm at the car wash so that way y'all guys can see the side skirts a little bit better. Here's how it looks. I think it makes the car a slightly a little bit lower and it matches the, the level with the lips so I think it looks a lot better bruh. Guys, today we are doing a new install. Installing a new diffuser, as you can see. So now we got a front lip, side skirts, and now the diffuser, and it flows all the way together. What's going on, guys? Today is an exciting day because we're installing carbon fiber overlay looks. I just put it on, and I think it looks sick, guys. Already got the window visors on. They look good and they fit good. Look at that. Guys, today we are doing a new install and we're installing a headboard mount. This is the 82A version. Damn. For sure, I feel a hell of a lot more different with the new mount, like I could shift a lot easier. What the thing? All right guys, so we already got the bumper off. Now, all you need to do is take off these two bolts right there, one right there, here, and the bracket, and then for the other side, these two, and then the bracket will be behind here. All right guys, so we got the stock intercooler off, and this is the aftermarket one. Look at that, it's a lot taller, you see, and a lot wider. What the thing? It's a kicking you! Guys, so it's the next day. As you can see, we have everything on Mishimoto intercooler right there. So it doesn't make cool sounds or anything, but y'all guys do need this if you're running more boosts. Sheesh. Real quick pull. Today we are doing a new install. Don't mind this, uh, trying to fix the lip right now. I got a... I don't know if you guys can see that. Hibernation short shifter. Boy, gammon. And uh, we just fastening this thing down, putting everything together, and I'll show you guys the after. All right guys, so we got the short shifter on. Check that out, and look how short it already is. Sheesh! <laughs> Today is a new install. We are installing the cooler intake by PRL. We have plenty of space to do the 
intake. I'm excited for this guy. Alright guys, so I already got everything installed. Show y'all guys more footage in the daytime, but as of right now, I'm just gonna show y'all guys just a little sound clips before I do a daytime clip. But just hear it already, hear this. the grill on the car however it was just such a pain in the ass there was fitment issues here i finally fixed that issues on the side i finally fixed that what's going on guys today we are doing a new install i'm doing that is uh i don't know i just feel like it'll be a lot cleaner and plus it'll fit this splitter on and it definitely won't fit with this lip and I don't know, y'all guys can't see on camera, but if you look really closely, there is imperfections in the paint. So that's why I want to replace this whole set. So I got the old lip off right here. And let me show you guys, this is where it's been cracking right here. Sheesh. And I also got the side extensions right in here as well. it is right here the glorious e85 we're gonna put some probably put two or three gallons and we're gonna see how that goes other than that it runs and dries great there's no knock um the air flow ratio is actually almost perfect there's no knock at all what's going on guys today we are working on the tension as i as you would see i fucking fucked up the lip so you have to go to a shop or paint it yourself so right now i'm just gonna take off this old lip bolt it off it's just a couple bolts um nothing too crazy some brambos on the tension as i today rotor and then that's it and then you deplete it and then take it for a drive film um like an inch or two back so that way you when you put it on uh that way it's easier to align and then you just fully take it off by peeling it back got a new part that came in the mail it's 27 watt the thing I noticed about the inlet pipe on this is that it does pull better but only in the top end hair was basically $700 for the whole set so basically on the setup right now on the Civic I have these fake type R uh, retrofitted side skirts Side skirts, I know they're a little bit more subtle, but it just makes the car look a lot cleaner in my opinion. Sorry. 
bolt-ons. Like I said, this was the last thing I needed to do to make this car full bolt-ons.